Catherine Lane, hockey, and the reason I play is because it's a really fast and dynamic game and the team environment is great to meet new people. Okay. So tell me about why you applied to Exeter. Um, I applied to Exeter because it's got a very good reputation as one of the best universities uh, in the country and especially the business school which is my degree and um, obviously it's really really good for that. And then when I came to the Lanka campus I, I remember walking up Forum Hill and just fell in love with it and could really see myself being at this university where and that's not what I've got at other universities when I went to round to open day. So. And you've regretted it ever since? <laughs> no. <laughs> Balancing sport and academic is obviously quite difficult at times with time management um, and obviously it's quite full on schedule, especially being in third year. Um, but I find that the tutors and lecturers are often quite helpful and a lot of my lectures are recorded so obviously I can catch up when I have to miss them for camps and things like that. So tell me about your hockey. Where were you when you started X? <coughs> what's happened since then? Um, my hockey in my time at university. So in my fresh year, um, I'd just come out of the under 18 program, I'd just won a bronze medal at the under 18 Europeans um, and I was kind of looking to break into the under 21 squad um, but obviously being two years young effectively um, and managed to do that <coughs> I managed to do that and worked really hard to do that and I ended up getting another bronze at the under 21 Europeans that year which was incredible because I hadn't expected to get into that European squad at all um, since then, so last year was, there was no major competition, so I was in the under 21 squad again, <clears throat> but there was no major tournaments to lead up to. So then this year is actually a really, really big year because obviously there's a tour to America in January. Um, <clears throat> going through this year, around September, there's the Joe Hall Cup in Malaysia, which would be amazing to get into, and then obviously the Junior World Cup at the end of November in Chile, which is my short term sporting aim. Speaking of which, what are your long term sporting aims? Long term sporting aims. I would love to go to the Olympics and I would love to win medal at the Olympics, that would just be, that's every sports person's dream I think, <laughs> especially at a high level um, and that, I think that experience would just be incredible. What about in the rest of your life aside from your hockey? Um, I'd love to go and have a successful business career, um, I'm not sure what company that would be in yet or, but the human resources and that kind of area is what I'm really interested in at the moment but I change ideas of what I want to go into pretty much weekly, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll see where that takes us. But no, like I'd love to go to Olympics and play hockey. But then I realise as well that there is a longer term aspect to my life, and I can't be in sport all my life. So business is what I'd like to go into after that. So what's your degree? Uh, my degree title will be business and management with advanced proficiency in Spanish. Right. And so what? It, what kind of stuff are you studying? What kind of modules and things? So um, just broadly, what's the what's the degree about? Oh, it, it varies massively. There's loads of different modules and things. Um, obviously, Spanish is a big. It's about the seventy thirty split between business and Spanish. So the Spanish is about thirty percent. Uh, business ranges from everything to uh, organisational behaviour, management practices, um, looking at consumer behaviour and consumer research. It's it's a really broad degree, but I think that's really helpful in what enabling you to work out into what path you want to go down in the future. Um, and do you ever use your Spanish in the hockey pitch? <laughs> um, you can, it's quite funny when we play the Spanish because I can obviously understand what they're saying more than other people can. They swear a lot. <laughs> they swear a lot in the Spanish do. Um, but it's quite funny when I can hear them. So when, say, we've got the ball and they're pressing against us, I can hear them say, like, push them left or push them right, whatever, which kind of comes in useful at times. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to finish off by asking about the HPP programme here. Uh, what's the level of support you get both from the staff but also um, being able to I guess get to know other sports? The, yeah the HPP programme is amazing. Um, the staff are so supportive of anything you need from I don't know from lecture clashes or exam clashes or any academic side to you're genuinely feeling a bit down and you want to go for a coffee and a chat, like they're, they're literally there for you for every, anything that you need. Um, what was the other question? Oh, support from other sports. Um, and they offer loads of opportunities so that we have coffee mornings and stuff where different sports get together and get to know each other and it's, you wouldn't normally get to do that. And often gym sessions, you're sometimes in the gym at the same time as other sports so you get to know faces through that as well which I think is really good. Brilliant.